for uh, major tournaments from out of region, not just staying in SoCal. I'm not gonna and lie. his character is a, an absolute threat. He was already considered one of the best in Smash 4 in a game where this character was not considered to be good no. and now is Nico. potentially, some people even say, <laughs> a top, top one in the game. Yeah. We'll see. Nico did always talk about how like Shulk was a low tier back in Smash 4. He, no, he, he definitely was. I, I, some people say he's mid tier, but he said, you know what, I, I knew Shulk was low tier. And back then, Smash 4 had more low tiers, and this game has more high tiers than low tiers. Yeah. So for Nico to actually just come out and main a character and have uh, essentially rewards for mileage <laughs> in Smash 4, and that comes out so great. Yeah, the loyalty reward program for sure benefited him this time. Yeah. The one thing that he's using Buster R here on the ledge is it's really good to apply pressure, especially if Tyrant makes the mistake of going for a shield getup, because that will allow him to apply much more pressure and delete the shield a little bit more. This is actually a matchup Nico is not a fan of. If you guys did watch the Mango, he did lose to Abadango, and he also has been losing to Palo. I mean, he's not a fan of fighting Palo in general. Yeah. I mean, in reality, who is? You can kind of see why. I mean, uh, not only does like Palutena have really strong disjoints to kind of contest with Shulk in general, uh, but she has like that projectile with the auto reticle and with the explosive flame to keep Shulk at bay when she needs to play a little bit more passive. And yeah. Overall, her like aggressive tools are really good, but a forward air from Nico at the ledge right there, taking that first stock. That that literally allowed him to corner carry to the other side, and then Tyra oh, made the I mistake of this. the style. Thirty-eight percent. Buster Two Art, solid Smash Art. All right, back throw. That's gonna be it. Yeah. yeah, especially in Buster Art when your knockback is added. I'm sorry. So actually, so Buster only adds percent to yourself. And not only that, I believe your shield does take uh, more damage as well. So it's a very like high risk, high reward kind of arc mm -hmm. for Buster. Oh snap! Oh, air. he just you know, man, air dodge off stage. The man just dropped the, dropped the, an SDU like he just dropped the frame. That was weird. Yeah, he, it looked like he was playing Wi-Fi. <laughs> Yo, my play went on the lag. Okay. Okay. Uh, really, so for Nico, it's really good that he's starting to understand the mid-range that Palutena has, especially with her projectiles. That's one thing that she likes to go for in the mid-range, especially when you have a lot of distance. Auto Radical is really good for something out jump-ins because of, its, of how well it connects now. Tries to go for a grab that would have been great, but unfortunately when you're stuck in Smash Art, you do take that extra knockback, and that back throw will take care of you. Yeah, back that throw. Early. Tyrant finally back into this game. He's got about 60% to make up for here. Definitely not out of the realm of possibility. One grab, or even just connecting one neutral air will be at least two to three more. Oh, there's uh, one, two. Oh, I like that. And the shield art just in time to snap right out of that combo. Good back air, and of course, jump does give you more jump height, so he's actually able to just come in back on the stage and the back air. He tried to use the momentum from, from going for a back air to get Tyrant in the middle of the explosive flame, but unfortunately, he got caught it. All right, here's Smash Arc. If he call, if he makes the right call here, he can get the stock early, but unfortunately, that's the wrong time, and Tyrant gets the roll back on the stage. For Nico, at this point, he needs to make sure that every time Tyrant does come back, he has something trapped, or at least reading one of his five options there. And at this point, Tyrant's just going for a neutral getup because Nico's giving him the space, when in reality, he wow. just wants you to make that mistake. Oh, absolutely brilliant. Nico just swinging at the ledge with the Buster Sword result. and taking, or excuse me, not the Buster Sword, with the Monado. Look like real talk, I don't know why, Tyrant looks like Wesley Snipes to me from this distance. He does, dude! He <laughs> does! He looks like him! <laughs> he does! No tell, me, no tell, tell, tell me I'm wrong, Jordan. Tell me I'm wrong. Jordan's gonna say you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna be like, eh, well, you're, you're wrong. wrong. Chat, press one if you think Tyrant looks like Wesley Dang. Snipes. Dang. My man is Blade out here trying to rate, trying to kill vampires and he's only finding a guy named Monado Sword. <laughs> <laughs> he does, dude. I'm so sorry. I can't unsee it. I can't right. unsee it. Tell me I'm wrong. So Tell me I'm wrong. We're sticking to the guns right here. Nico opting for <laughs> Shulk. Tyrant thinking it through a little bit. He's going to actually switch to the Joker. Not surprised to see it. I know every player mm -hmm. right about now has a Joker. Definitely considered to be a good character. The only... A uh, person really getting any like top top results with him is actually MKLeo. MKLeo can get top yeah. results with like, any character. He's gonna man. get top results with Banjo, dog. I hope. <laughs> That's what I want to see. Hopefully, what I want to see is Nico take another victory here. You know, on the other side though, Nico does 
played this character himself. This yes. is a character he was waiting for to be in Smash, so he does have the matchup knowledge in that regard, but he's got to play the, ma the player matchup now, so let's see if he can do that. Not only that, he's also very used to fighting Stroder. Sometimes they do play online. Or not yeah. only that, he's gone to Ascension, uh, where Stroder sometimes is at. So one thing that Nico's a little familiar is how, how Joker can be, but not only that, well, the one thing that Joker is really good at is getting whiff punishes. But when you're the one taking so much advantage and forcing your opponent to make those recoveries, then you're that's where Shulk is winning. And that's the problem, is he's got such a big arc of a hitbox that you need to give it a little bit of respect, especially when you drift off the stage, because that's one thing Nico loves when you do. Alright, Tyron with a back air here, he's got control of the stage. Tries to read that get up, just doesn't grab him in time though. Nice. He stalls himself with uh, actual using Nitra. I really like that option. I actually, I do. So that's one thing that Nico has adapted to over time. Is even though there's Rebels Guard, you can still go through it after the actual initial hit and still power through. All right. There's an Aegon, adding up a little bit more damage. Uh, Tyrant. I mean, he's still on his yet to take Nico's first stock, but he can definitely do so, especially with our scent. But it's already expired. Yeah. He can still take this stock. It's a little bit more complicated. You're going to have to go for some more uh, uh, execution heavy setups. But dang, it's not even going to matter because Nico just cleaning that first that stock right up. This is all. Oh, okay, he's going to yeah, he, he has no part. Yeah. That's one thing that you should do as a Joker main. You should always go for bullet arts because at that point, it does. The closer your opponent gets to the ledge, the more knockback they will receive from the bullets as you're moving closer to the ledge itself. Damn, bullet arts. You got Bayonetta up in here? I like to call it bullet arts. Sometimes I call it jackpot. Dante from Devil May Cry and uh, oh, sure. Marvel does it. Jackpot right there. Rain storm. Oh. Forward throw. I do like it. Switch to smash art. Right. And if Tyrant had gone for the up B, he definitely would have scooped him up right there with his own up B. He's looking to see how far Tyrant wants to go, and then he gets him back with the up B because wow. he knows the delay from the from the Rebels guard is going to work that way. Three stock for Nico right there. 2 0 -oh and a handshake. That was a really smart play. I mean, huh? Tyrant threw out the Rebels guard to eat up that forward air, but as 